ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the semi-finals of the Season 8 playoffs. We are coming off the heels of what many are calling the greatest upset in Dinger City history. Nick won a game. Incredible job from Crit Nick winning the first game of the series to take a 1-0 lead over the number one seed, Dennis, who is pretty much the favorite to win the World Series. Ever since he slabbed that one next to his name, he made that a thing. Yet he's only done it once. That's true. He's had the one seed every season. The only person that's done it twice got freaking <laughs> knocked out of here in prelims. Sorry, Gil. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's tough. That's real tough. But it's honestly, it's very cool that we have a lot of variety. So Dennis being the Bowser team here, puts Bowser first for the guaranteed uh, base runner. Yep. And oh, Waluigi, baby. All right, that was pretty that good. Was a good play. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was an incredible play from Waluigi. And that's a, that's a free walk. So, so what I was saying, <laughs> Bowser going first gets you a free base runner for your number two guy who is Toadsworth, which is great because mm. that pretty much not guarantees you to have first and second for bro with nobody out, but it's a good chance. But Waluigi says absolutely freaking not, and we're out of the inning. Yeah, that was quick. Bye. Well, I do think any super jumper makes that play. I think that was just like, oh, right, it was right over first base. I, but, I agree, uh, but it was still a great play. It was still play. a great start, and, you know, it, it's really funny because uh, you at home – don't get to see a lot of what happens behind the curtains of Dinger City. But just before the camera started, yeah. I was like, I don't think Waluigi like does that much. Yeah, that's great. And play it was though. really funny that he made that good of a play that quickly. Yeah, and if you if you look at Nick's uh, fielding construction, he has Waluigi first and Wario third because he has DK and Pianta, I believe, in the infield, mm -hmm. which is which is interesting because now he has, he has three laser characters in the infield. That's always fun. And he's got chemistry going from third base to first base. That's pretty good, too. And I actually think sliding catch on the corner bases is pretty good. We see a lot of people go with Noki first base. Not a lot of people, but we see it. I think uh, Krazy, the net player, has been the guy to kind of uh, pick that every now and then so you get the chemistry from Pianta. Yeah, no, I think I uh, I agree. I like uh, I like sliding and tall characters. I, I every now and again, like because I like Daisy's bat, I'll throw her on a corner base. If that's like the last position I need to fill. Yeah. Because of the tall and the sliding and the you know quick throw. To yeah, I, the I, it's definitely a fair choice. Um, but yeah, uh, Nick saying, and I quote that the Wario to Waluigi uh, slam pass. What's that? What are they called? See ya. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, he, he lost control of Mario there, and that's a KB home run. I really thought he was going to wall jump that. I thought he was too, but then he took a weird route, and apparently it wasn't Nick taking a weird route. It was the game dropping him off of Mario, so that's going to be a 1-0 lead for Dennis this time around. I don't think Nick can ever financially recover from that, to be honest. Hey, we'll see. Nick had some big innings uh, last game. I think he scored all of his runs in the game across two innings. That, you know Actually, what? that's not true. I take it back. Don't listen to me. All right, I won't. Yeah. Uh, but just to continue asking you questions, so I ultimately end up listening to you. Yes. So, what slap, slap dash, slam, slam jam? What's it called when you when you do the analog stick A? Smash throw. Smash throw. Nick saying, and I quote, "A Wario third base, a Waluigi smash throw." Was working absolute gangbusters on that play. And Nick, Nick has been playing a lot in that play. He has. He's been on the grind. He's got. I mean, he's he's made himself. I believe he's like top five in the rankings at time of recording uh, uh, yeah that's generous he's like top 10 though whatever he is oh he's six six bro i wasn't even that off they weren't that far off he was 11 last time i checked then he had a big stream uh the other day so. yeah so i mean he is as practice as nick will ever be if nick, if nick was ever going to punch a ticket to a world series this featuring competent players it's it's now yeah and here's waluigi the guy we were just talking so much about and i just want to comment on that bowser dive a good middle infielder makes that play he is not a good middle infielder. He that, is uh, yeah. he is big and has laser, which are, you know, like those are check boxes next to a lot of good infielders. But Bowser's not one of them. However, that was pretty pog. Nice. <laughs> good for Bowser. Good for and Bowser. I actually he don't... needed that. We were just shitting on him. He really needed to pick me up. I actually don't know if Birdo makes that play because uh, it was very close. And maybe that extra arm strength really put him over there. Dixie Kong, unfortunately, going to line out there. And we actually, we, we don't see Dixie too often. Yeah, Dixie's uh, like, you know... Uh, oh, maybe my opponent, like, there's, there's the really rare occasional Boo and DK on the same team. And, like, so then you'll see Dixie then. Sometimes you see people going for, like, the full monkey builds for, for Kem. I like Dixie Which, Kong. I mean, I kind of get it. Dixie Kong's not bad. She's not much worse, if at all, I, than yeah, Diddy Kong. I think they're equal. Um, so, so I just wanted to comment on something I heard happen off screen. Oh, dude, if he caught that. Something I, ha I heard happen off Nick and Dennis talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Nick says, you put Diddy Dixie before Bowser? And he's like, yeah, Bowser's one. And he's like, yes, yeah, so you put Dixie into Bowser. 
And Dennis goes, yeah, but I could bat myself out. <laughs> God, oh. I, you know, it's, it's, it's small little sentences like that that make me want to watch Dennis lose. This could be a huge inning for Dennis. Painfully. This this could be a double play or it could be two runs. So we're, we're going to see something huge right now, I think. I think he should bat himself out here. It, it's going to be a double play. PM taking his sweet ass time to get that ball, but he gets out of the inning. And Dennis, uh, Dennis already on tilt. Yeah, I think if he had batted himself out there, it would have been better. It would have been a double play. Dennis looking like the 2021 New York Yankees, am I right? <laughs> Did they make it this far? Uh, no, they lost in the round before this. Ah. Oh, no, they lost in the round before that. Oh, they so lost in the So Gil's looking like the 2021 <laughs> my, my, my joke was they got double played a lot. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that that's a tough break. And that was a great hit from Wario and another situation where I think a better fielder than Bowser is making the play. Yeah, I, does he have a better option? No. And he's choosing to put Bowser there? Nope. Nick has Wario, he has PM, and he has Donkey Kong. And he has Yoshi. Nick's got okay. the infielders on lock. Interesting. And Daisy went undrafted. Daisy went undrafted, which I think is fair. I don't think there's a spot for Daisy on Dennis's team. So, I don't know what they, I'm, I'm looking around to see what Dennis is holding because I don't know who I'd sacrifice for Daisy. I think it might not be anybody. I don't think so. But I'm just not liking how his, his infield looks. Well, I his feel corners like that's just, are good. Does he have like, does he, does he have like, he has oh, Madge he's, got, KB. He's, got, he's got bones. He's got Madge KB on the corners and then he's got Birdo in the infield. So that's all strong, but mm -hmm. but he's missing that that second good infielder. Oh, uh, at least the one he has is pretty freaking good. <laughs> oh my God. You know how sometimes you can tell when a Birdo, when a Yoshi egg is hit, that it was hit too hard. Yeah, that was one of those. Ooh, yeah, Wario good getting steal in there. From Wario. I like the silence before the steal. We're just <laughs> waiting. Just like, huh? And that's uh, that's wow, that's, that's gonna score name. Wario. And this is a tie game all of a sudden. Great banana from Wario. Bones, nothing he could have done about that. That's like a Yoshi play. Yeah. So Yoshi's what are you gonna do? Crit Nick coming back, tying this game up. Yeah, I think taking a, a now Woo! under the uh, you know under the magnifying glass look at Dennis's team, I think he uh, like just I don't know where I'd even sub out a Daisy. I think he just drafted too many players that don't play positions. Yes, and I think that's a uh, which is huge for Nick. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's a very common uh, mindset that I don't necessarily agree with, where it's you draft offense above everything. And I, do, I don't necessarily... Ooh, okay. Okay, he gets another shot. Because I think the only argument I, I can don't make like that. for a change I'd make with Dennis's team is I don't like Bones because I think he's the weakest link on the team, but because of... Dennis loves him. But the, he's better in left than, like, Toadsworth is. So I think I think for the sake of my team having you know, a little bit of defensive prowess, I would have sacked Toadsworth for Daisy, put Bowser in center and Daisy in... in, in, in yeah, yeah, in I got you. Field. It's an interesting decision. I, I, I don't hate it. I think Dennis wants to have that laser in the infield. You know, a laser in the infield is good, but you also have to make plays, you know? Yeah. And out, like I think you guys discussed in the last video, an out is worth more than a hypothetical saved run. Uh, Yeah, I, I think I think I can get behind that. And Dennis... Oh, but Dennis oh. is a loser. <laughs> no, he just misses it. He did that it once sucks. with KB, but just missed that one. Let's see if they can get the strikeout or if... Uh... All right, he gets a fly out. So... KB is really the king of heartbreaks, dude. Like, you like, I can't think of a character that yeah. you see, like, like everyone's staring at that ball sail and wondering where it's gonna land, foul or fair. No one does it like KB does. Yeah, except for like Boomerang Bro, but but even then it's not as much. Great hit from Bones. That was, that was a sweet hit. That, that was really just so good. And this is a good part of his lineup too, because now he goes, it's not a good part of his lineup. Wow, I'm thinking yeah, of the last like, game. Well, the <laughs> last game he had like Bones into Boomerang Bro and something else. The teams are, are not exactly oh, the dude. same as last game, but they're quite similar. And he gets three on that. Dang, all right. All right, so, so Dennis making something happen. And maybe he can go for the Luigi Fireball. Do you go for the Luigi Fireball here? No, he has freaking righty Luigi. What is he doing? He's got righty Luigi? Yeah. What? I hate I it. used to do this a long time ago, but like, you know me, I'm not good at the game. Oh, oh, Nick! Oh, no! my God. That's that's the worst thing ever. He could have just tagged. He had, I thought he that had was, the that tag. Was, that, was the, that was the worst thing ever. I thought he tagged him. And then... Nick, Nick, Nick saying he got confused. He tripped himself up, which is reasonable. Oh, oh my no. God. The worst thing ever. Nick has to, you know what? This is gonna sound crazy. I think Nick needs to take the L this game. I, I, I'm, I know how many more innings of baseball there are. I'm not saying Nick is out of this game. I think he's on the this score. Inning. I'm saying that I'm hearing Nick get in his own head and there's so many more games that's only to be played. So right? <laughs> I will say if Nick gets out of this inning, no more runs scored, 
he's very much still in it, but I... And that's a Waluigi double play. He did it. All right. Great play from Waluigi. One run scored off of that unfortunate error from Nick. Okay. So not the end of the world, and I I think he's still in this for sure. If it was, you know, if it was six to one, five to one, something like that, that hurts. I was I just heard the tone in his voice, and I got scared for it. Yeah, him. but that's a Crit Nick classic. I know what I'm saying. Is that <laughs> the, the, the Crit Nick classically loses all the time. That's why I'm trying, <laughs> <laughs> trying to help him out. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. I, I, I get what you're saying, man, but look. Look at us chumps sitting here in the commentator's booth while they play in semifinals. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Crit Nick may lose a lot, but he also wins a lot. Are you not going to make it? <laughs> <laughs> so we got PM here. He's going for the charge swing. This could tie the game up, and it's going to. That's a two-run home run well, from Piazza. You know what? I thought he was going to get that wall jump, and he just didn't. I don't think he was. I don't think any character in the game is fast enough to catch that except for Toadette. I just think. Oh, I think he was. I think he, I think there were just no inputs. I think he was there I don't think he. I don't do think it. he had the good lineup there. It looked good. I think I think Luigi I think Donut definitely gets it because I think Luigi could have gotten it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so Crit Nick just like that. Right back yeah. in this game. Crit Nick saying I've been kicking net players butts all day. I'm gonna yeah. add Dennis to my collection. Yeah, Dennis is historically a net player, so I meant like uh, <laughs> I know, he's I know. beaten, obviously oh! Dennis is the furthest thing from a net player you can get, and I'm yeah. counting like dolphins and that, like You don't see that Wario pole hit like that that often. Yeah, man. That was really good. Alright, so we, now we have Ooh, dude. Oh what a great oh, hit. Man. Oh, oh wow, Birdo with a Birdo preventing. I'm not gonna say preventing disaster there, but that was crazy. She prevented the runner on third, which with the Yoshi single could just score. So that that was a that was a big prevention there from Birdo. If Yoshi gets a single here though, Dennis oh. is what I'd like to call trouble. You know what? Dennis is in trouble. And he's gonna ooh, score a run. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, this is this new thing I just came up with. It's called trouble, and this is in it. Ooh, tell me about it. Oh, so basically, you know like when you're in a position for good to happen? Uh, yeah. Imagine the exact opposite of that. That's what oh. I like to call trouble, baby. Oh, so it's bad news bears. Bad news bears. And bad news booze coming up oh, right man. here. Oh, man. Nick making me look like a fool. When oh, what a booze. hit. That's going to oh, be my two. God. Oh, it's oh, going to be God. one. It wasn't I, I two. Don't even, I don't even have a... Dennis didn't even go on vacation. I don't know what's happening here. Nick might just be good at the game. Nick is playing incredibly, and he has the bases loaded for Do PD it, Piranha, Nick. and Do he's going to rip it. Oh, 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 oh my... Oh, oh my God. dude! I thought wow. he had that one. Oh my God! Oh my! This would this would be a huge blow, huge blow to Dennis. He would go up nine to three. I think it's a game-ending blow, truthfully. Oh, that's gonna be a run still. Uh, He's balling. I think it might even land. Oh wow, that was close. Hey, hey, you take that. That's a six to three lead from Crit Nick. That's a this is a five-run inning. We were saying. Nick, he, he's losing 3-1, you know? Maybe maybe he should start thinking about game three. And Nick said, no, no, no. I'm thinking about inning four. And he slipped it by. Well, that, was a, that was a neat Mario fireball. Oh, he's going home. What are you doing? Okay. okay. You know what? He was he was, he was was kind of trying to bait a throw. Maybe he Dude, accidentally throws the third. Dude, two the ding-dongs in the same inning? Dude, that would be unreal. <laughs> that was this inning? One of them being a grand oh. slam? That that would be some of the most unreal that stuff would be that I've some, ever seen. That would be some TikTok level content. Oh, but instead he's gonna be a loser. With 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 uppies there, uh, would have been close. Some, I think it may have been foul. Yeah, with uppies, yeah. but would have been close. Can I just say that I think I, I I put together why Nick is doing good. Tell me. I'm I'm seeing the Matrix. Where's Firebro been the last two games? Not in his team. I'll tell you that much. Nowhere. Period. Ooh. Dennis stopping his runners does not trick up Nick at all. He gets the double play, and now, honestly, just walk him again. Just walk the heavies, dude. Or not. He's pitching. Who I understand cares? you have a lead, but I think uh, I think with a player like Dennis, mm. you don't want to give him an inch. You know? That's true. And he walked him. <laughs> oh, no. Yoshi and right, huh? Okay, he walked him. Oh, he's making it. He's there, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, it was close. It was close. It was close. It Nick, was close. He did the smash throw, which is good. So good, but you know, like, it, what's spooky about that is a good bone star here scores, yeah. even a good bone slap. Yeah, I, I think that was a situation personally. I, I understand pitching there because you have three on lead. I get it. But I think if you walk there, uh, bones, it takes a lot for bones to score KB from first. I actually don't think he can do he, it. He but like instead, it. Nick said, what if we just got rid of both of them at once? That's smart. That's Nice good. pitching. And uh, Crit Nick, if he gets Waluigi on, he might try to go for a, for a Wario homer. Why not? And we have been star barren. Starved. Starved. <laughs> Starved, but like capital S T A R. <laughs> star. Yeah. <bud. laughs> and he's charging anyway because he's saying, you know what? Maybe I'll get the perfect. Maybe I'll just attack a run on 
he almost didn't even need to. I he just he almost just did that. Yeah, he it did. Was incredible. I think that Wario charge is something that people should be going for more, and I think that's another fact. I go for it not like, like I mean, if yeah. I have Wario, which I don't do too often these days. But I do have him. Yeah, I still consider him someone that can put one over the fence. He's, yeah. he's like beyond it to me. Yeah, he, a, exactly. a good hit puts it over the fence. A bad one's a line yeah. driver and out. Like whatever. And I think that's something that a lot of people forgot to consider when they were stopping. Like they're falling off the Wario train a little bit. A lot of everyone pretty much did across the board. Uh, unanimous. I think yeah. it's a unanimous. People are trying to get back on the train, but I don't think anyone would would claim they never got off. Like, yeah, everyone got off the train. Well, Luigi. I totally got off the train, and I'm fully back on. I think Wario is, is a fantastic character. I got fully off the train. I'm not back on it, but well, I'm like, I, I acknowledge that it's a train people ride, and I'm not going to rag on him for it. Dude, I have to say, like, I know Waluigi's not doing it. <laughs> why don't... Why not charge? Why not... Why not charge swing? Because perfect contact could be a home run. He wants to get out of this inning. He wants to clear it from his mind. Ladies and gentlemen... I would like to issue a formal apology. A few innings ago, I said, Nick is going to get into his own head and cost himself the game. It's Dennis who's going to do that. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's so funny because earlier in the game when Dixie came up and Nick was like, you have Dixie in the Bowser? Dennis goes, yeah, so I could bat myself out. And you know what? He's he a proved, man of his word. He proved his point. Uh, yeah. I, I, let's see how fruitful it is. Uh, look, let's I see get if that it. extra out on his board puts any points up. I, I understand. I understand, right? Because because you lead off with Bowser, potential for a star chance with Bowser up. That that's almost a guaranteed star. I get it, but also like I don't get it. I think I think in those situations you should charge swing because maybe attack on a run. A hundred percent. I I don't think you can no justify star. batting yourself out in any situation. We haven't seen a star in so long. You can justify like maybe trying charge. to get a steal or charging. There are you can justify doing a high risk. Play. That was a great hit. That was a great hit. But I don't think you can ever justify taking it out. I agree. I would probably just charge it. Now, Dennis in a situation where he could just tie the game up. Nick probably going for the walkies. Yeah, it makes sense. No, I think that was just a really inside pitch. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Wow, the same pitch twice. <laughs> so this could make or break Dennis's game. This and is with, Three with, stars. With no the way outs. his luck has been going, he will probably line into a double play. But, but he may not. Dennis is... All you need is one. Den, there are a lot of players who rely on luck and a lot of players who crumble due to someone else's luck. Dennis has enough skill to no star. negate luck. I think Dennis can do something here. Oh, I agree totally. He didn't use the star, though. I, 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 he doesn't want to get double played, I'd imagine. I guess that's fair, but like, I still want to get on. I understand because you don't want to get double played in a situation where Nick could then just walk uh, King Boo. But he has to pitch here, and this could be the go-ahead run on a grand slam. Oh, I guess slam. you have another star hitter after King Boo, so if this goes south, you can use that star instead. He chases. That, that is, it's not a double play anymore. You don't risk a double play. That, that's a one-two count. This this pitch could make or break the whole inning. Oh, and he oh, gets I, him. He, I, that was he crazy. I, thought, I, was like, I was literally about to say great eye. Like, because yeah. He swung so late that I thought he had yeah. read it and didn't and that, swing. That's a classic situation where your hands are ahead of your brain. And you're like, that's the great star, though. It's only going to be, well, oh, it's two. Thorn two for it's sure. Two. Yeah, it, it was two. Uh, the Yoshi tongue, while it does stop the runner from advancing to second, it does not prevent the run. And just like that, it is a one run game. We have Birdo up with the stars. Yeah, you could definitely egg here. You got someone on third, someone on first. Like crazy Birdo egg you're not, scores all three players. So, because yeah, here's the thing, right? A Birdo egg does take the rest of your stars and probably only scores one run. But you're losing. So sometimes yeah, one run I is all you need. The and the reason I don't, I don't necessarily think going for like Luigi Fireball here would be the move. I don't. But the reason I don't particularly like righty Luigi is because first of all, you're losing out on the benefit of being a lefty where you get to first faster. Mm -hmm. But you also uh, have to hit the Fireball entirely different. You have to swing early to the late. Now the reasoning Dennis likes it is very sound. He likes righty Luigi because he can slap the ball to right field and then it's easier to move runners from first to third that way. Fair. Because you're not hitting it to left field where the throw's right to third. You have to throw across the diamond. Yeah. Makes sense. And and here's a star chance for Nick, and I thought he was going to take that one for a ride. I will say, both of these games have been pretty close. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And this is very competitive close. ball. Not even close to over. We still have two and a half innings of baseball to play. So let's let's see what we get. Dude, Nick being the home team, honestly, a major advantage in this yeah. situation. When the games are this close, you don't see home team come into play a lot. But when a game was like within well, one run, like that, that that one extra, it's not an extra at bat, but like no, but the it's, psyche of knowing you get to close it. Yeah, it's like if I score, 
you don't get another chance. Yeah. No, in fairness, everyone gets equal opportunities, but but uh, yeah, home home team advantage is a big thing, and it could come into account here because. Hold on, I want to watch this at bat because he did it with PM last time. He, no, uh, two the times time before. Ago. He almost did it with PM the time after though. So it, it seems like he's on with his bat. That's off the wall. This could be a well played jump. Oh, but that's it wasn't. off the wall. It's gonna make it second and third. An excellent hit from Pianta there. It is. You know, I, I'm not gonna shame Dennis. That's like that's like a master play level. If you catch that ball, Luigi, that's a whole lot of like you know exactly when to stop and jump. Like that would have been impressive, yeah. but it was doable. Yeah. I think we know what you should do here. And I think Dennis does too. And the answer is walk. <laughs> I know it was an accident, but this- Well, I don't, I'm not bunting anymore. I'm ripping one out of the freaking oh, park we're, we're now, baby. We're swinging for the fences. I want, I want Dennis to cry. I want to I wanna put all those tears in a little kiddie pool and splash around like the glorious heel crit Nick I am. But unfortunately, we'll have to settle for out for a strikeout. It was out. hypothetical. It was I hypothetically am Nick in that situation. So, this is a pop opportunity. That was clear. Yeah, I, 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 I got it as well. I thought he was going <laughs> to get it. Uh, I'll he, see what happens here. He just missed. So Dennis was just fixing his fielding. Uh, pop opportunity. Technically a pop opportunity. Uh, Toads isn't someone I consider a, a A tier popper. Just regular Toad. Wouldn't call him a pop star, if you will. But, um. This is like a, like a pitch. If it weren't two outs, I'd honestly be saving my stars for a Yoshi egg. But it is two outs. So you got you to gotta play. Yeah. You got to play the candy you're dealt. You don't know. Oh my God! He's okay. Uh, I almost thought it was a royal flush, man. That was that was almost gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So so Nick does not manage to tack on any runs. Yeah, there. that was really good for Dennis. Dennis was in a scary situation, and he prevented any runs from going across. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good job. All Nick had to good do. Good Dixie hit. Just kidding. Not kidding. The greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dixie with a triple. Wow. Wowie wow. What happened? Dennis. Dennis asked, "What is this?" That was Nick flubbing it. That should have been a single. Correct. Yes. All right, so let's imagine the world we're in right now. Dixie's on second instead of third. That's not the end. Let's it's, see how big of a deal that Realistically, is. on a Toad's Worth hit, Dixie would probably score from second anyway. Yeah, depending on how nice it yeah. is for sure. So so maybe not a, a big deal, but the, the difference maker is Psyche. even if Dennis <laughs> well, even if Dennis hits a, a double play ball. Oh, she looked. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you, I was going to say, even if Dennis hit a double play ball, which he did, <laughs> um, if it was a ground ball, the run would score. Because you had you throw you throw to second first, but but Dixie's coming All right, home now. Dixie's on third, so yeah, nothing so, no, nothing tragic happened there. Ultimately, no difference. The bobble actually kind of making the big difference there, but but realistically, we're in a similar situation. Let's see, Dennis probably letting the star rip here, but he has it oh, before. Oh, he did do it last time and for the very yeah. same situation. If he gets out here, yeah, and KB gets on, it's not a double play opportunity for Bones, who we know follows KB. Nick really so looking might, like he's gonna walk mad right now. <laughs> who knows, man. Yeah. He should throw. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so good. Wow. Nick asking what he should do in that situation. Uh, and, uh, I think I throw the fourth ball. You, I hope he swings you, the, you, the star. You know what I think I do? I don't throw three balls to start off the at-bat. And Boo's tired. Yeah, that's that huge. might be a game-ending situation. <laughs> Yeah, so so that's not great, but he does have Waluigi as a backup pitcher. And you know, Boo's best position that isn't a on the mound. And you is know what? The corner. So he's still got chemistry going from his corner bases to each other because Boo Good and Boo Mario. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's a walk for KB, and and Dennis is taking the lead in the eighth inning here, and he's not wow. done yet. I I know exactly what I'm doing. This knowing who we got, we got Birdo up exactly two stars after this. I don't know. I'm putting only one out. I think I think I'm just trying to. I think the only thing I'm doing this at bad is trying to ensure no double play happens. I'm not gonna say anything further. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I, I think that this is a huge at bad. This this probably makes or breaks the game right here. Yeah, I mean, like uh, if, if Burrow gets up and lands a successful egg. Uh, but the one huge. Thing that, like, that I was said, massive. I said, I said the one, the one thing I said was was uh -huh. you don't let a double play happen. I thought that was clear. Dennis has double played so often. I would have bunted there. That was the easiest one of my career. Yeah. I would have bunted there, uh, so so unfortunately that's not going to be the case. Dennis double plays the end of the inning, but he does score two runs to take back the lead. That is true. I mean, it's still it's still a great inning. It could have been a game ending. Inning. Yeah. So now if Yoshi gets on here though, Nick is at the heart of his lineup right now. That's true. I mean, this is the classic Nick. Nick. I don't know if Nick discovered this tech, tech but Nick Neff definitely bought the Woo! start off Yoshi star hit with DK into our clubs like like knowing. 
Nick saying he discovered it. He coded it into the game himself. That's awesome. Yeah, this this is a great opportunity for Nick, and he's stealing, which I it makes sense. I kind of get it. I, I just don't think you have to. If, if you're going for the, the the gambit, there's no reason to steal because Yoshi will just get home. Uh, yeah, there are situations where Yoshi might only make it to third, but a, a charge pitch was essentially a free star. Yeah, that was spooky. And unfortunately, it, it he did it again. I don't know why he threw it twice. Wow. But you know what? The steal would have made the difference here. Still would have made the difference. So, so definitely makes uh, sense. Yoshi would have been home. He actually would have been home. Yeah. Like, that's what I was trying to say. Like, <laughs> well, he has laser infield, so. There. Well, but he didn't know that. But he should have. He should have shown. He should have. He should have teased it. But, nonetheless, Crit Nick in an excellent spot. Second and third. Nobody out. Boo at the plate. Let's see what he does here. I guess, I guess you're praying for a, uh, like, third baseman catches this and then lands into the double play if you're uh, yeah. if you're Dennis, but it's unlikely. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a, that's a play. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I bunted there every day of the week. That was an easy bunt. Ties the game up. Yeah, you, you get know, PD up. So, not a lot of bunts you, for, you for, should... for the king of bunts. It's hard to pull the trigger on a bunt with Boo. Because you're like, I could get a double. I could get a double, yeah. But but sometimes you have to you have to push those thoughts back and you have to lay down the bunt, get this game tied up, and just just go from there, one at bat at a time. Well, Mario could do some great stuff here. Or Critnik could could do this. I think I'm just letting Yoshi go back to third. I don't think I'm playing any games. I think I'm playing games. I'm playing games for Let's sure. Let's see what happens. All right, he's back on third. Game ended. Game ended neutrally. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. No. <sighs> Huge. So big. Wow. Should he should he should he should have bunt it because because Yoshi Yoshi would have Yoshi's fast enough to score there without the uh, without the steal. Nick saying that you can't bunt in the game the it was removed. Nick says that I think he knew you're gonna bunt anyway. Nick says that you can't bunt when he knows you're gonna bunt, but I think that's a situation where you definitely want to bunt, and that is a uh, that's a second and third opportunity, no outs, no runs big. scored. It's very big. I, I think our final inning of ball, and uh, that's a bad hit yeah i mean it, was, it, it wasn't a good hit for anyone it just when you see when you see a ball follow the the, the foul line you assume it's good because it, like that's naturally what your brain wants to think yeah it goes serotonin 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 all right let's see if crit nick oh, can get out of this inning here pick up a star and hopefully not see bowser ever again it would be it would be big <laughs> there's two outs already i feel like i blinked yeah no it was, it was a quick two and he gets out wow, of it okay gets the star here we go you might not never see bowser again He's either going to lose, win, or see Bowser again. Those yeah. are the only three options on the table. Yeah, so I, I think uh, you definitely go for the charge with Pianta. Hope to tie up the game. But Wario into, Waluigi into Wario, it's got potential. Great hit. That was... That, that was oh! Oh, baby. It's not going to matter. It's not going to do anything, but it was still <laughs> fun to watch. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that charge hits do have an increased bobble chance, by oh, the way. Oh, sure. You got it, right? They have to, right? Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. Waluigi, uh, he has a good single spot, but it is a little double play prone, similar to Boo's in the double play aspect. But uh, six, speak of the freaking devil, and he shall appear. Oh, oh okay. that's huge. Daisy because makes that double play. we've got chemistry. That you know, I mean, a Wario home run to win the game would be some of the most incredible stuff I've ever seen in my be, entire it'd life. Some, it'd be a rare, it'd be a moment in in, in history. He's charging. He is. He's been charging. Oh no, that's unfortunate. That oh, he unfortunate. caught it. He caught it. I think if it hit, I think if it hit the ground, that might have been a double play. I don't know if I would have thrown any strikes there. I think I would have just like, accepted that like if I walk him, I walk him. <laughs> Toad. It Toad. all comes down to Toad, Toad for this game that. too. Toad ain't doing anything massive here. He might. The best thing Toad does here is Falcon popping at Yoshi up, and then Yoshi's got no stars. Might hit a single. Who's up after Yoshi? DK. Okay, that could be good. So, so what what you're looking at here with Crit Nick most likely is he's gonna go for a single, and you won't get it. Unfortunately. All right. For Nick. Dennis taking game two, making this one win a piece. We are guaranteed at least a game four. I'm pogged. That one feels like a dagger to crit Nick because uh, I thought he had it. He might have thought he had it as well. But unfortunately, things didn't go his way in the eighth. And uh, Dennis put up those two runs he needed to win the game. It's been it's been some crazy ball played. We've seen the game screw both players. We've seen skill elevate both players. This might be one of the best, best of fives that we've ever seen in Dinger City. It's only game two. Both Wild. Done with game two. Insane. Yeah, so if you guys uh, want to watch the rest of this series, come back tomorrow for game three, where we're going to see if uh, we're going to see who takes the lead in the series. It's a huge game. Absolutely. If you want to be our special friends, click like, leave a comment, buy some merch, become a patron. There they are. Incredible stuff. And of course, say it with us. Dinger, Dinger City, City out. out.